They are. See now, Hollywood is going back in time looking for ideas, and I don't mind this one mm-hmm. because they casted the perfect, the perfect motherfucker for it. Like they, there's reboots and there's remakes and there's all kind of they bringing stuff back. So like right now, Hollywood is rehashing the same stuff. But then every now and then you get an idea that's actually dope, where the execution is on point. That's this. Now, Mr. Rogers is OG triple OG, like, and his story goes way past him just being on a TV show. Like, he was actually, you know, he was actually about that life. So, <laughs> you know, like, like two people, him and Bob Ross. There's a lot more to them than than you know. Like Bob Ross wasn't just some 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 dude painting. Nah, it was way more than that. And when it comes to this, like, Mr. Rogers was the same way. Like he 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 was actually way more gangster than people realize, and way more influential than people realize. Now you get. An actor of this caliber playing him, and he looked just like him. He looked just like him. So, I see the thumbnail, and I'm like, okay, right. yeah, you got me, you got my money. I see the thumbnail. And I'm like day one because just off that alone, I know I know it's gonna be good. Plus, you get him in, in that movie, then you know they're not messing around. Especially because of his, you know, he's a high caliber actor. Mm-hmm. So, like, I mean, he, he's 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 a. There's tiers when it comes to, to actors. He he's on on that tier on one. that top tier. tier one. He's on that top tier, and there's nothing you can say about it. If anybody says anything different, he's just wrong. He's, I mean, there's opinion, but you know that's just wrong. And he's such a good actor. I mean, he could randomly play Batman. Of course, it'd be weird. He can but. play. He can play anything and just make it work because he just got that charisma and all that. Like certain actors, they they can just do that. So, I mean, we're gonna check this out. I'm already gonna see it, so I don't really have to watch it. But you know, just formality's sake, we're gonna check this out and uh, and see how good this is. Hello, neighbor. They they captured it. Hey, I'm looking for Fred Rogers. In here. It's a beautiful day in this night. They got the whole set and everything. Neighbor, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Please, won't you be? Oh, God. I just went back in time. Hello, neighbor. Mr. Rogers, I'm here to interview you. It is so nice to meet you. You okay? I'm profiling Mr. Rogers. Lloyd, please don't ruin my childhood. This piece will be for an issue about heroes. Do you consider yourself a hero? We are trying to give the world positive ways of dealing with its feelings. Like what? There are many things you can do. You can play all the lowest keys on a piano at the same time. Damn, look at how they remap. You love broken people. Like me. Sometimes we have to ask for help, and that's okay. I think the best thing we can do is to let people know um, that each one of them is precious. This is this one of those this one of those joints where uh tear trigger? Yeah, it's it's definitely gonna it's gonna be that. You can't you can't avoid that shit because like there's certain things you feel when you see certain characters. Like Miss Rogers, like I don't care who you are, like you you it it, it, it touches a nerve. Like, you know what I mean? You you feel something when you when you see that. And then when it's when it's captured that well, it's like you don't even want to talk when you watch it. You like you just you just enjoy it. He's an Avenger. I mean, yeah, he that that's that's canon. He's an Avenger. That's canon. In, in, in a 
in a cardigan. That, that's what he is. Like, I mean, it's just it's just something about that show that you know you you just watch it and then you just lose yourself in it. Like it was just it was just so positive and like he just he had a message to to deliver. And it's just he's one of those one of those dudes that it kind of transcends. Like I know it don't matter about race, whatever, like that. No, e- everybody's just, watching. I'll tell you one thing. I'm hoping that when this movie comes out, television will actually start to promote more television shows like this. You know, to help you get. I mean, they probably movie. won't. They probably right. won't because of how right. things are now. But like back then, we had we had that. Like there's shows that we had that were actually educational shows that you know what I mean shows just about you know just just having a good time and just kind of losing Listen yourself in, in positivity. Because he was all about positivity every time on the show. Like, no, no matter what happened, like he was teaching messages and, and like, getting getting you to, to just come to terms with accepting yourself and, and whatever and progressing and moving forward. And that that's what he was about. And to see the shit captured like that, they right. recreated the set. They re- recreated his moves. The all, sweater, all, the shoes, all, the train, and all, all that. his actions and all that. They got the voice. It's just like, and then we get to dive deeper into his legacy, and so that's that's something that you really want to see. That's something you really want to see. So this right here, that that's you know it's legit. We already knew it was a day one, but you know you see this and you're like, damn, you really feel that feeling now, and it's like, damn, this is really starting to touch you, like like touch your heart and and, and affect you. This this is this is dope, man. This is dope, and I, I knew I knew it would be this because you know Tom Hanks. That that's what he does. Like he really, you know, he he puts his all into it, and they really captured the 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 essence of Mister Rogers. Dude trying to interview him and see what's really like. Yeah, really, and like, then, what's up, my man? Like, and, and then his life getting affected. You know, and, and I'm pretty sure when he asked the dude, you know, do you feel like you're a hero? He, he's gonna say, No, I'm not a hero. I'm just you know somebody trying to you know make the world a better place. A like he doesn't really value himself up there. He's like, I'm a regular person trying to make a change. The niggas want to train with everybody else. Right, it's like, listen, that's some Keanu Reeves shit. Like. Did this this is gonna be a dope movie, man. It's, and it's gonna be something where it's gonna affect you. I don't care who you are. You can be a hood right. dude, whatever like that. You can go see this, and then you know what I mean. You can get somebody gonna be cutting onions in the aisle, and then you know gonna have that that solitary tear come down. That this you can't avoid it. Just embrace it. Just embrace it. Cause that's what's gonna be. You can't avoid that shit. Day one, I'm there for that though. That's the day one. Discount. Look it up. 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 The music's already started. I like shit like that. I like over the topic. You guys are being hunted. Army of mercenaries. Gosh. Led by a genetically enhanced soldier. Look at me. I'm Black Superman. You're crazy. 